like authority today. You know what I mean? Like we're really going to do a thing today. You have gone from the march to yeah. the authority. Like, like authoritative march. stomping, yes. I think, is what happened. There. <laughs> hey, good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog. <laughs> and I'm Jen Dalton. And we thank you for joining us on this rainy arc Cincinnati day. But it's going to brighten okay? up. It's going to brighten up. We're going to go outside. We're going to brave the rain. I think we're actually going to be in the tunnel. We've got a mini cow. A mini We've got cow. Toodles, not just any mini cow. We've got Toodles, the baby mini cow, and you visiting have us. Met Toodles before I have met already. Toodles. Okay, I can't wait to meet Toodles. Also, the return of Space <laughs> News. But first, let's see what's brewing in the dry state. What? All right, we are getting a sneak peek of a movie shot right here in the Tri-State. Yeah, the movie is an adaptation of novelist John Green's book, Turtles All the Way Down. Here's a look at the trailer. The movie follows a girl named Aza who has OCD. The story explores how that disorder can cause problems in a young adult romance. This movie adaptation was shot in Cincinnati, in Amberley Village, according to Film Cincinnati. And you might recognize Green's other popular novel turned movie, if I tell you what the name of it is, The Fault in Our Stars. I think mm -hmm. Shailene Woodley maybe was in that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, Turtles, all the way down, streams on Max on May 2nd. Pretty so cool. really sort of the second examination then of a, of a young person going through some sort of health related issue and everything that sort of comes along with that. So I don't know if that's what all of John Green's books are or not. Yeah, I don't um, know, but I have heard of this book and I know that it's very right. popular. So the movie adaptation and being shot here is super cool. Right, I just, every time we get into one of these stories about this movie was shot here or that movie was shot mm -hmm. there, I'm, I'm sort of astounded by just how many, and you're not, you're not talking just independent films. Right. And there are plenty of great ones of those as well. But big time movies with big time stars, mm -hmm. with big time, you know, production studio backing that come here to make movies. Yep. Well, it's just the coolest. We're the place to be. We are the place to be. Mm -hmm. uh, Swifties are counting down the hours until the new Taylor Swift album goes public. We were at a record store yesterday. I and know. Oh boy, they are getting ready. Her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, drops this Friday. And surprise, surprise, there's a Cincinnati connection, Always. of course, to some of the tracks. Well. Yeah. If you didn't know, Cincinnati native Aaron Dessner is credited as the songwriter and producer on five songs. Now, Dessner is one of the founding members of The National. He is credited on the tracks So Long, London, But Daddy I Love Him, LOML, The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, and Clara Bow. Now, it's not the first time, though, Dessner has collaborated with Taylor Swift. He worked on her albums Folklore, Evermore, and her most recent album Midnights. And I know that uh, he has t at least two Grammys under his belt with Taylor. I had um, no idea that album. he had worked with her that mm -hmm. much to that extent. Yeah. I, I remember one of the Grammy wins because I remember that picture, but I didn't realize to the extent that they yeah. had worked together. Pretty cool. And um, his brother, yeah. Bryce, is doing a concert with uh, the CSO in the very first weekend in May. Cool. I think there were three different dates, and there's one, I believe, that the um, director of the CSO is actually going to be directing two of his original compositions. Oh, wow. Along with a Beethoven piece. Uh, so look that up if you're, you want to see that. Yeah. That's going to be really cool. And are they do they do a festival here. I forget what the festival's called that the Dusters do. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What I, what I do know, though, is I expect more little clues and hints that Taylor Swift puts out there. Do you like all that stuff she I does where it's, it's like a mystery, it's a QR code, it's a it's this thing was this color and that thing had the number 13 on it and all of the things. Do you like all of that? I think it's a great way to get your genius fans involved. Absolutely. Yeah. It is a They're genius smart. way to connect to the people, as we would like to do here on Arc Cincinnati. Connect with you. The people. Uh, we may be biased, but the numbers don't lie. Northern Kentucky is becoming a tourism destination. Meet NKY says the region has fully recovered now from tourism slowdowns during the pandemic. They found an average hotel occupancy rate at 68% last year. The Bureau credits a boost in uh, the region of many, many different festivals and events. Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, there's her name again, came around and that booked a lot of hotels right across the river. They also highlighted self-guided bourbon tours known affectionately as the Beeline. When we bring tourists here to kind of see everything that Northern Kentucky and the Cincy region has to offer, it really supports our other partners in terms of business development and our work with the Northern Kentucky Chamber. And it's only up from here. There are some big events planned this summer. We have a link to their calendar at local12.com. You know, it's, it's funny, I know for a lot of people, they really very distinct 
distinguish the marks between northern Kentucky and Indiana and the Cincinnati. Right. I just I've, I've always sort of had a mindset of a, a more regional so sort of way of thinking about it. Now, I'm very I'm very west side, west side, east side, you know, kind of thing, but in a different way. But I think of all of this as but, Cincinnati. Co- co- you know what I mean? In my head, correct. It's, greater, I mean, yeah, the airport's greater, over there for crying Cincinnati, out loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, it's just neat to see because if they're doing well, that probably means it's doing yeah. well on this side of the river. And it's probably doing well in Indiana as well. So it's all so, so many great places to go to. Every, what, which one is that? Is that new? Is that I the believe levy? that's the levee. Is that yeah. the levee? Yeah. I can't remember the name of that. That new, that new the area. The Box Park, yep. I, and I haven't been over there since they redid that. Oh, you got to see that. Yeah, that's I really get neat. Over there. That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, Bob, how are you doing after yesterday's Try It Out Tuesday? Okay. I want to preface with, I really enjoyed what what I had to eat in the moment that I was eating Should it. Should we recap quickly what it was? The Mid- Midwest Fondue is what it was called, right? Yeah. And... It had, uh, well, you, you, you made you it, did, so. Well, I didn't, I brought the ingredients in. Yes. You dip, uh, you dip White Castle burgers yes. into Skyline dip. Yes. Or any chili, really. And again, I think if you if you went casserole with it style, I might enjoy it a little better, and I might enjoy it if it was, if it was fresh. Like we had frozen, I think a fresher ingredient would be the way to go. Okay. Having said that, I had an extended. I was worried about you last night. Digestive response. <laughs> that really started to kick in about an hour, hour and a half later, and then wouldn't quit. Yeah, we were shooting a story yesterday, and I was... There were, there were, there some, were some things There were times you walked away that I was like, hmm. I went, I went for a jog. Oh. Because well, like, I thought that that would... that's the thing you do, get things... I thought it would just kind of... in there. Anything that needed to kind of do like that would just... Yeah. But it, I don't think that helped, yeah, yeah, I guess I is why. So, so, so just, no, good, good up front, maybe not so good on the way out. Okay. Uh, however, it might be too soon, but we have a different Cincinnati chili creation for you. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, this is the Queen Coney. Okay, this is the Queen Coney uh, Pizza. Oh, yes, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. So it is a mashup of Taglio Pizza and yep. Camp Washington's Cincinnati style chili, as well as Coney fixings. Mm-hmm. So it uses Taglio's fluffy Detroit style crust and is topped with Camp Washington chili, sliced hot dogs, onion, and mustard. You also get the Cracker Bomb. Cracker is, bomb. Oh, I love a Cracker Bomb with the yeah. oyster crackers and the hot sauce. The ZA rolled out last month at Taglio's OTR location, but the high, the demand was so high that Taglio now offers this at its Columbia, Tusculum, <laughs> Montgomery locations as well. And Cincy Shirts, of course, has even created a commemorative T-shirt for sale to honor this momentous culinary collaboration. Now, that, that I would absolutely dive into and without fear of what it right. would, would do to me because really in that case you just got their delicious pizza crust sort of substituted for the bun you know what i mean and other than that it, it is it is kind of a, just a coney you know what i mean but with that kind yeah. of crust i think it would be would be Put outstanding yeah yeah um, I, I was going to mention not not the only way i've seen this certain kind of combination come together and, and i've seen the pieces less deconstructed with something people at the ballpark at great american ballpark call a sky rosa okay it is it is a literal coney sitting oh wrapped on, in a piece of pizza? Just, just right on top of the piece of pizza this is from u.s sports scrans x like, account i they believe eat that all together like you just and you just mash it with your face you just mash it into your face all right. sky rosa, sky rosa. I, I think uh someone sent me a message mellow mushroom uh up in westchester and i think maybe in wilder as well did a similar kind of pizza to what taglio was doing it was okay. a limited time thing i think maybe last year i don't know if they're still doing or not Please let us know if they are. That way we can check out all the different options around town. But again, okay. that's the way that they're doing that. It's just that's just a coney. It's just a coney, but it's pizza crust instead of a bun. I can get with that. Yeah. That sounds really good. I like it. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.